To comply with axle weight regulations, drivers may occasionally need to reposition the fifth wheel or the trailer axles for proper weight distribution. This video explains how to slide the fifth wheel and the trailer axle safely and without damaging the equipment. Overweight and axle weight fines are expensive and they go against the fleet's safety record. After taking on a load, especially a heavy load, it's advisable to axle weigh the truck. For this demonstration, the fifth wheel will be moved forward to shift weight from the drive axles to the steer axle. Generally, weight will transfer at about 100 pounds per inch, so moving the fifth wheel forward 8 inches will shift about 800 pounds from the drives to the steer axles. With a piece of chalk, tape, or in this case, sticky notes, mark the current position of the fifth wheel pivot point, then mark the point where the fifth wheel needs to be. To ease the strain on the driveline, lower the trailer landing gear to support the weight. Look for solid, even ground upon which to lower the landing gear, place your wheel chocks around the trailer wheels, and crank the landing gear down to about 2 inches above the ground. Then climb into the cab and deflate the tractor air suspension. As the suspension deflates, unlock the fifth wheel slider lock and then exit the cab to verify the locks have released. It will help if you mark two spots on the ground as a reference guide for how far the fifth wheel needs to move. In this case, we've placed a pair of gloves on the ground beside the tires as guides. Back in the cab, place the transmission in reverse as in this case you'll be sliding the fifth wheel forward. Release the tractor parking brakes and gently apply some throttle. After sliding the appropriate distance, set the tractor brakes and exit the cab to verify the fifth wheel is now in the correct position. If the move was successful, re-enter the cab and re-engage the fifth wheel slider locking mechanism. Release the parking brakes and place the transmission in drive or reverse. Gently rock the truck back and forth to seat the slider locks. Verify the slider locks have engaged, then reinflate the tractor suspension. As the suspension is inflating, set the tractor parking brakes, exit the cab and crank up the landing gear and then fetch the wheel chocks from the trailer. Before releasing the trailer parking brakes, do one more tug test to ensure the slider locks are fully engaged. Now let's look at how to slide the trailer bogies. As with the fifth wheel, Repositioning the trailer axles offers some flexibility with weight distribution. If the trailer axles are overweight, sliding them to the rear will transfer weight to the drive axles. If the drive axles are overweight and the weight cannot be transferred to the steer axle, sliding the trailer bogies forward can take some of the weight off the drive axles. For day-to-day -day operation, it's best to keep the trailer axles in their optimum position. Measure 41 feet or 12.5 meters from the trailer kingpin to the center of the trailer's tandem axles. That's about 9 to 10 feet or 3 meters from the back of the trailer. That will provide good weight distribution most of the time. It's advisable to check before you load the trailer that the trailer axle slider locks are working and the axles can in fact slide. The slider locking mechanisms vary across trailer makes and models. Some are manual, some use air-activated locks. In any case, once the trailer is loaded, these pins can be difficult to unlock. You may have to rock the trailer back and forth to disengage the locking pins. As with the fifth wheel slider, mark the current position of the locking pins and then mark the position you want to slide the axles to. Since the locking holes are usually spaced about 4 to 6 inches apart, you will shift about 250 pounds per hole for 4 inch spacing and 400 pounds for 6 inch spacing. Release the locking pins and then deflate the trailer air suspension. In the cab, release the tractor parking brakes, place the transmission in the direction you want to slide the trailer axles and then gently apply the throttle. Be aware that the slider locks may break free suddenly, so be ready to release the throttle or apply the brakes quickly. Set the tractor parking brakes, exit the cab and verify the trailer axles are now in the position you want them to be. If they are, re-engage the locking pins, gather your wheel chocks and head to the scale to re-weigh the truck. If the pins are not perfectly centered in the holes, try rocking the tractor back and forth to get the pins to engage. 
If you have difficulty engaging the locks, try driving slowly around the yard and applying the trailer brakes periodically. Driving around on uneven ground can help too. Do not venture out onto the road until you are sure the locks are fully engaged. 